start structures for polyatomic ions this time. So you can tell they are the ions because of the positive or the negative charge. So when you see the plus charge, plus charge means the electrons are lost and you're going to subtract appropriate number of electrons. And when you see the negative charge, the negative charge shows that electrons are gained and you are going to add appropriate number of electrons depending on how many, what is the number. And another thing you have to remember is you keep the Lewis star structures in brackets because that shows that the charge is actually distributed over the entire ion. It's not just on one atom. Okay. Let's start with the common example of ammonium, ammonium ion. So the nitrogen has five valence electrons, hydrogen has one valence electrons times four, and this shows that one electron is lost, so you're going to do it negative one. So total number of electrons here is eight. So we have to distribute these eight electrons among these four atoms. You have nitrogen, hydrogen, hydrogen, and hydrogen, four atoms of hydrogen. So we want to keep these two dots in the middle of two atoms to ensure that there are there is at least single bond in between two atoms. So this one is right here. And then when you have this total eight, they're all used here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And hydrogen is always satisfied. It needed just one more to be like helium. That's the nearest noble gas for hydrogen. So this is happy. And let's see about the nitrogen. We want to make sure one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So nitrogen is also having eight electrons. So here nitrogen and hydrogen, they are sharing electrons with each other to satisfy the octet. I'm going to write it again. Join these two dots. Two dots joining these. You're going to make a long dash and that is actually representing a bond. Okay guys, do not, please don't forget to put the charge outside. We have to show the charges outside the bracket. Okay. Let's do another example. This one, so this is the Lewis dot structure for ammonia. Let's do another example. We can do something with the negative charge here. Chlorate ion, so chlorine, and then you have oxygen. So chlorine is seven valence electrons. Oxygen is six, and you multiply by three because of the three atoms of oxygen. Now this shows one electron is gained. Then you have only negative one or one. Negative, just the negative or negative one. That means one electron is gained. So you're adding one electron. When you do the math, you're going to see total it adds up to 26. Let's distribute these 26 electrons among one these four atoms, chlorine, one chlorine and three oxygen atoms. So we are going to put two electrons in the center in the middle of the two atoms just to ensure that there is at least a single bond. So how many are used? One, two, three, four, five, six. And we have 20 more left. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and then 19, 20. So all 26 electrons are used in such a way that these, L, these atoms are sharing electrons to complete the octet. Here, okay, count here, count when you count these dots, there will be eight, there will be eight, and now, for chlorine. You want to make sure eight for chlorine as well. Here you go. So the octet of each atom is complete. Now you are going to connect the dots. And when you connect these dots, one bond, two bond, three bond, so you are going to have three single bonds here. And here is the unshared pair of electrons. We don't want to forget, we have to put the negative charge outside. Okay guys, so here you go. This is the Lewis dot structure for 
Great. Let's do one more here. SO4 2 minus sulfate ions. So sulfur six electrons and oxygen six, but then times four, and this two negative means two electrons are gained. So you're going to add two more. When you solve it, do the math, you're going to get total 32. So sulfur one, two, three, and then four. So let's distribute the electrons, 32 electrons, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. So just keep in mind the electrons are distributed in such a way that the octet of each atom is completed. Okay. So, Eight, 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 and then eight here for sulfur. Okay. When you join the dots, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. But these electrons are unshared. You always have to show them here. They are not used for bonding. We show them here. Okay, we are almost done. We don't want to forget. We have to show the charge outside. Same thing here. We have to show the charge, negative two charge outside. All done. Now, could you please try this? Your turn. Pause the video. Try it. Here you go. So you have these two polyatomic ions, total number of valence electrons, I did one, and you're going to draw the Lewis dot structure. This is what you got. And wonderful. Okay. All right. Thank you.